Grade 4 and 5, English Home Language, Language Structures and Conventions, with me, Teacher Lazar. Part 5 of 6. Disclaimer. The work to be done during this PowerPoint and video presentation covers the work for the language conventions and structures intended for Grade 4 and Grade 5 home language learners by Ms. Lazar Wilkinson. All information is original content. If you have any questions, please ask your parents and or caregiver to send me an email at teacherlazal at gmail.com or you could send me a WhatsApp message on 079-751-2777. Figurative language. Words that mean something different than their literal meaning. In the following slides, I will be explaining different types of figures of speech. First up on our list of figurative speech, we have an idiom, a saying that has a different meaning to what it literally says. For example, the homework was a piece of cake. So you see this cake, which is a piece, but actually it means that the homework was very easy to complete. Personification, giving human qualities to a non-human item. For instance, it was begging to be eaten, so the ice cream was begging to be eaten. The ice cream didn't literally beg a person to eat him, but the person who ate the ice cream thought oh, that ice cream really wants to be eaten and enjoyed. So therefore, we put personification in that sentence. The same is when we say, the sun is smiling from the heavens. It doesn't literally mean that the sun has got a big smile. It means that it might be very hot. And that's why you say the sun is smiling from the heavens. Simile, comparing two things using the word like or as. For example, the boy is as fast as lightning, or she sounds like Cardi B when she is singing. Alliteration. Same letter or sounds occurring at the beginning of words. For example, she sells seed shells on the seashore. So every single word except on in that sentence started with a s. Alliteration is when in a sentence every word starts with exactly the same letter. Then we call that alliteration, which is a figure of speech. Most of the time, you find alliteration in poems. Hyperbole. I know when you read this word, you read hyperbole, but it gets pronounced hyperbole. Hyperbole. It means um, over exaggerating something, a saying exaggerated beyond the point of belief. For example, I'm so hungry. I could eat a horse. So with other words, you can eat as much as the size of a horse. That's how hungry you are. You're over exaggerating something, over explaining. Like when I say in class, I have told you 20,000 times that you should underline your work. Then I haven't told you 20,000 times. I maybe told you 10 times, but I use hyperbole to explain it to you. Metaphor, comparing different things. He is a pig. 